dance class was so lit. Literally, hip hop is probably my favorite style. Yeah? Today. Oh, for sure. Well, you can tell by your floor routine, girl. Oh, you know. Yeah, good class. Thank, Thank you for you. inviting me. You like really inspired me. I was like sitting on my butt tonight and then <laughs> got that phone call. Yeah, no problem. It's literally always been a hobby of mine of dancing. So, cause you know. Tis the season. I always love dancing when like for New Year's. Do you have oh, any New sure. Year's plans? Um, for sure, I'm gonna watch the ball drop with my roommates, you know, maybe have a little dance party and we'll have a little movie night because, you know, we it. always have movie nights at our apartment. Okay, well, that sounds like the best <laughs> night ever. You know. <laughs> and dance part at Gen- party at Janae's house. Mm-hmm. I love it, I love it. When UCLA hosted the national championship, Miss Val choreographed a flash mob and I did it on top of Wait, the vault. I was there, yeah, yeah. I was there in the audience watching you. I wish I was part of it. I would have jumped down if I could, but well, you know. Heck yeah, I know you would have joined me. <laughs> well, nonetheless, my New Year's plans, and I think your New Year's plans too, all we gotta make sure is that we just dance, we just you know? Just dance, just dance. Red wine. We are so close this season. We really are. We're only one week away. One week, seven days. Do you have any like rituals or anything like as you're like getting ready to compete like on each event? Okay, I have a certain playlist. It's like a motivational speech like I play on my iPod. Oh. And it's like a compilation of like different like motivational speakers. It could be for movies, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's about four minutes long and I listen to that like either, if it's an away meet on like the bus ride there, I'll listen to it. And then like I'll have like specific songs um, for each event. Like I had a Demi Lovato song, um, Confident, and that was my vault song I think last year. Oh yeah. Yeah. So um, I'll like pick specific songs um, for each event that like kind of get me into the rhythm of it. And then, um. I like go through like arm throughs and like visualize my routines with my celebrations and throw my head back, but I'll have my music in. So I would say that's a ritual. You can tell that music really moves you and Mm -hmm. like makes a difference in your competition. It like keeps me calm, keeps my mind simple and just. I'll be honest, there's only three words that I tell myself when I get onto the competition floor. What are those magical three words? Pump it up. Oh man, the Black Eyed Peas. Yeah. They really had the jams. I'm gonna be in the zone on January 7th. Oh, you already know, I am. I'm already, I've already been visualizing. The floor is closer to the student section now and I'm so excited, like, I'm gonna feel that connection with them. Totally, how important is that energy that you feel from the student section? It just kind of gets you out of your own mind. Like any nerves or like extra excitement you have, like you get that from the audience and it just like makes me want to do like more, like give out to the audience, yeah. like, you know, so. Totally. So your gymnastics has come an amazingly long way. It really has. I mean, I remember when um, you were being recruited, it was kind of like we were digging for something in you that like, I don't think you had even seen yet. Being recruited, I feel like you guys did see the potential and I knew that coming to UCLA, it was the best option for me for you guys to bring out my full potential, whether it came from technique to form to confidence. Coming in freshman year, don't really know what to expect, you know, I was kind of like, eh. It was a good year though, it wasn't like, but sophomore year, I want to say that was like my breakout year. I 
improved form. I like my feet. Miss Val had me do my little foot stretcher. Yeah. Literally every day she was on me about that, um, and that helped me for bars and straightening my knees and just focusing on those little details. Heck yeah! Well, and it worked because <laughs> all that toe point stuff led you to be the Pac-12 co-bar champion last no. year. Oh How crazy gosh. does that feel? It was so amazing. I remember at the, right before the uh, award ceremony, uh, Deanna, the vi- videographer, put the mic on me, and I was very confused as to why she put the mic on me. I was like, you want to see my reactions to, like, my teammates go up? Cool. Like, I'm just going to go you all had out no for them. Idea. I really had no idea. And oh then they gosh. called my name, and I was like, oh. And it was funny because I really thought I was on third place, so I stepped on the podium on third. No. And then they're like, no, 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 like, you're on first. Up and on I was up, like... Bro. Oh, okay, cool. And like, oh man, that was That's so great. That's amazing. Yeah. What a cool story. So are you excited for this season? What can we expect of Janae? Uh, expect a super fun raw floor routine yeah? this year. My character, Miss Valgame character, I'm a rare white lioness. Okay. Which Tell is really more. ironic because... I'm not white. Right. So I was like, okay, Miss Val, we'll roll with it. We will roll totally. with it. I'm rare. Something you've never seen before. It's going to be really interesting. I love it. Now. Well, Ugh. can I get a sneak preview of this? Yeah. I love Let's it. Let's do it. I'm so excited to see that in Polly. Yeah, I'm excited to do it. Dang. Oh man, it's by far my favorite floor. I love it so far. They can, like literally keep getting better oh, each year. So. I can kind of see where Miss Val was coming from. It's like sneaky and and big and and like. Yeah, I'm supposed to be getting out of my cage. Like the oh. whole routine, I'm trying to get out of this cage, yeah. and at the end, I break out of it. There we go. Oh, spoiler alert! She breaks out of the cage. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. <laughs> Well, we're coming up on your apartment. Um, oh, thanks for inviting me to that hip hop class. No today. problem, anytime. And then next time you have a dance party, you you best believe you gotta invite me, and you then you best can come over. Believe, I will see you very soon. Okay, have you a rock. good New Year's. Yeah, you too. Oh, all right, bye. Dance your little heart away. Oh, you already know. <laughs>